So in the last video we saw that our app works and the balls go from the bottom to the top, move around and it all works lovely. Um, the timer isn't quite there yet but that's, that's easily fixed, that's just a case of back in our code re-enabling a block which was disabled. So this block here, once you re-enable that, that will make the timer work and the game will last for 60 seconds. But there is something wrong with our code. It functions, but it's not particularly good. If we look at a couple of blocks of code, so if we look at this one here and we look at the one for ball 2, these two blocks of code are near enough identical. The difference between them is the ball 2 and the ball 1. Something that programmers don't like to do and really try to avoid is repetition. Now in these two blocks of code we've got lots of repetition. So what we're going to do today is we're going to look at a method of reducing repetition, making code more efficient and making it easier to add new features and functions. So today we're going to have a think about using a procedure. So let's think about our code so far. We've got a block of code which says that when the ball hits the edge, the ball moves its y coordinate and its x coordinate. And that's duplicated four other times in our app. Now the problem with this is that we've got all this duplication. It means that if we want to change something about the code, we've got to change it here, 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 and here. But by using something called a procedure, we can avoid that repetition. So what we do is we create something called a procedure, and we call it reset ball. We then take away all the duplicated code out of our original blocks, and we put a version of it inside our procedure. Notice that here we're not talking about ball 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5, just ball. Then what we do is we put a reference to that procedure in each of these blocks of code, and that's just one single block. So what this means is that this function here, this block of code, will run the reset ball procedure and it will run this one block of code down here. When it runs it, it also has to tell it which ball to run it on, ball 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5. So that's what we're going to try and make happen in our tutorial today. So let's go back to our code. Here we go. Over here we've got the procedures tab, we're going to click on that and we're going to create a procedure. Now we're going to give this procedure a name and we're going to call it reset ball because that's what it's going to do. Now the reset ball procedure needs to be given a piece of information and that information is which ball it's going to reset. So we're going to click in here, we're going to add an input which we're going to call ball. Okay. We're then going to take the two blocks of code from the original function which we wrote, these two blocks of code we're going to take from this and we're going to put it into here. So now this function over here is going to do the job of resetting the ball. But at the moment it's still resetting ball 1. So we've got a little bit of fiddling around to do. We're going to detach these two for the minute and we're going to get rid of these. We're going to scroll down our list here, go into the any component module and we're going to say any ball. And then what we're going to do is we are going to get um, a y, set y component, so set ball y. Okay. And we're also going to go in there and we're going to get a set ball x. Like that. These two things we're going to click back in place. So set ball y to canvas one height of component is which ball are we going to do it to and that's the ball that we've gotten from calling the function. So we call this procedure this value ball oops, this value ball here gets passed into this block so it says reset the y coordinate of the ball I was given to canvas one height. Do the same thing on this one there we go um, and the only other thing we need to do is here we've got ball one radius we need to bin that back into any ball 
find the radius and that needs to be the radius of the component that we're talking about. So this block of code may look a little bit scary but once we've run it, once we've created it, sorry, we can collapse this block here. Now that block of code is going to do all of our resetting for us. So now in this block we can go up to our procedures and now reset ball has appeared. We can say reset the ball, we're going to go to ball what, ball one, and we're going to get a little block down here which is a reference to ball one. Now that code there is significantly shorter than what we had previously. So if we compare that to the ball 2 block of code which is here we can see that actually we've taken out a lot of this messy code here put that into our procedure and made this block of code a lot tidier and now we can either go through and change each one of these to match this or we can delete those 15 blocks duplicate that and change these two to ball 2. There we go. We can also use exactly the same procedure in our touched routine. So we can expand this block here. That's where it's getting a bit messy. So let's collapse a few blocks. Collapse a few blocks. These two lines of code here, they're doing some resetting. I'm going to delete that and delete that. And I'm going to say use the procedure reset ball and then we're currently looking at ball 4 so do that to ball 4 there we go so now we can use the reset ball function or procedure um, to take away some of that functionality and put it somewhere else have a go at doing it yourself Okay, so that, that's hopefully now working. Um, we've got a few things that we can do to further improve our code. The ball four routine, let's have a look at that. Ball four routine, we've got quite a lot of stuff going on there. We've got check the ball color, update the score, and then reset the ball. Again, we could try and reduce some duplication by writing a new procedure. So without giving you too much help, we are gonna maybe write another procedure and this might be check ball and the purpose of this procedure is if you give it a ball it will firstly check whether it's the right colour if it is add a point, if it's not take a point away and if it's and whichever, whatever happens, it will then also update the score. So this could be used to do all of that functionality, thus reducing this bit of code to two procedures being called. Have a go at that. And the final thing that we can do is, now that we've actually got something that hopefully works, we can start to mess around with our game. So this block of code is the bit that does our resetting. But we could do all sorts of things when we reset. At the moment we're just changing the X and the Y coordinates, but we could change the speed, the size of the ball, the colour of the ball, the direction of the ball very slightly. We could change um, how many points the ball is worth. We could do all kinds of things. And the beauty of doing it in a procedure is if we do it here, then it will work for all of these. We've got to change it once here and it will work for all of these. So now go and have a go at improving your game.